Hello, and welcome to It's a Jungle Out There. Over the series so far, we've looked into Toxicara, fleas and ticks, which can seriously damage your pet's well-being. We've offered some advice along the way to tackle these pests and keep your pets happy and healthy. Today we're talking about a lungworm, a hidden danger which can prove very, very serious. It's incredible that many dog owners have never even heard of it, but it's a potentially fatal disease for man's best friend. The lungworm Angiostrongulus visorum is a parasite transmitted to dogs when they swallow infected slugs and snails. The adult of this lungworm lives in the heart and major blood vessels supplying the lungs, where it can cause a host of problems. The adult releases eggs which are carried to the lungs in the bloodstream, where they hatch into larvae. These larvae are coughed up and then swallowed and passed out in the dog's poo. A slug or a snail known as an intermediate host becomes infected with the larvae when crawling over the poo and the larvae develop inside them. When the slug or snail is eaten by a dog, the larvae burrow out of the gut and make their way to the dog's heart, where they mature to adults and begin laying eggs again. You can see in this footage the way longworm moves through the heart. Symptoms can be variable, but often include breathing problems, coughing, lethargy, excessive bleeding and other general changes in behaviour or health. Sometimes there are no symptoms at all. It's also important to remember that lungworm is preventable as well as treatable. We're looking for evidence for snails and slugs. Wow, and there's one. It's been walking about leaving this silver trail house. And they are gastropods, which means they have to walk on their stomach. So they need lubrication so they can do that. Oh, and that's what we've got, snail. Oh, now what could happen? Now that's a garden snail, and it's gone to bed because it hadn't been raining, and they really don't like getting, um, you know, uh, dry too much. And he's in there, and I'm going to bring him right back so he go on crawling and do things that all snails do. And here is evidence that the foxes are trying to get into this garden. And unfortunately, they do carry a very, very nasty thing called a lungworm. And nobody, nobody wants to get that. Slugs' habits um, generally is they sleep during the day and they come out at night. Um, they especially like uh, wet and um, warm weather. They breed over winter. They can eat anything if the temperature's above five degrees Celsius, they will come out into the garden. So even if we have a warm winter, then they will come out and eat all of our winter plants as well. At the moment, we're seeing obviously a great amount of slugs and snails in the garden, um, generally because um, we've had a lot of mild winters. Um, although we had the cold snaps, they've not been long enough to kill off any um, slugs and snails that have been in the garden. So they're having perfect breeding grounds. We've been in the situation where she has um, uh, eaten, or we thought she uh, ate a, a, a snail. Um, she'd at that point been treated for lungworm, so um, the vet just um, told us to look out for any kind of symptoms um, or unusual kind of behaviour from her that she might seem kind of unhappy. I think it's something that every pet owner, regardless of the pet, should take notice of, of obviously their pet's health. And they're going to be happier pets and you're going to get more enjoyment out of them. So I think it's something that, that owners should be a lot more aware of. There are many species of longworm, but Angiostrongulus visorum is the one that can be life-threatening to dogs. This is real serious. However, younger dogs seem to be more prone to picking up the parasite. Staggeringly, 84% of people still don't know the symptoms of lungworm infection in dogs, potentially putting nearly 8.2 million of the UK's beloved canines at risk. Female lungworm can carry thousands and thousands of eggs. Just take a look at this.
So inform the whole family about the relevance of slugs and snails housing lungworm and the dangers associated with dogs eating slugs and snails. It's wise to check and change your dog's water regularly. Slugs often crawl into water bowls and could be accidentally consumed by your dog. They don't have to be big fat slugs either since the little ones can carry lungworm too. Don't encourage foxes in your garden. Keep your rubbish in a bin where foxes can't reach. If you're at all concerned that your dog may be infected with lungworm, you could do something about it. Speak to your vet as soon as possible. But it should be noted that standard wormers are not always effective against this parasite. The only licensed product that treats and prevents Angiostrongylus vasorum comes in a monthly spot-on preparation, which is only available from veterinary surgeries.